Hello, I'm going to demonstrate carbon sequestration. Carbon sequestration is pulling carbon dioxide out of the air. And carbon dioxide, of course, is a global warming gas. And this is a nice little demonstration that the students can watch and appreciate what carbon sequestration is. So in order to pull carbon dioxide out of the gas phase, we have to create carbon dioxide. So I have in here vinegar, 200 milliliters, 200 milliliters of vinegar. And that would be about 10 grams of acetic acid. And uh, I'm going to add to this uh, an equivalent amount on a molar basis of sodium bicarbonate. Okay, and uh, I'm going to have another video uh, explaining all the details, but let's just do the demonstration. So I'm going to add the sodium hydroxide using the funnel, and let me put my safety glasses on. Sodium bicarbonate is not a very dangerous chemical, but you should treat all chemicals with respect. So here's the, I think it's 14 grams, maybe a little more than 14 grams. Okay, let's pour it in. I can hear it bubbling. gas is coming out you can hear in the little petri dish that I put on here. So let me put the cap on but not real tight. Swirl it. You probably can't see the bubbles on the inside but if you had a clear bottle you could. And it's cool so the process is endothermic. It's very spontaneous, obviously, but it's endothermic. Okay, it built, built up a little pressure, and maybe you heard the swish as the gas came out. Keep, there's no need to rush this because the carbon dioxide is heavier than air, and it doesn't seem to leak out very easily. There's another swish. You could actually do this and walk away from it and then come back. Okay, so now we have carbon dioxide in the gas phase. Presumably almost all of the air is out because there was enough to produce about four liters of carbon dioxide. This is a two liter container. So next I have sodium hydroxide. And sodium hydroxide is a very dangerous chemical. And uh, you want to treat it with great respect. And it's not something readily available. It's really available in high school and college labs. But if you wanted to do this, uh, you can get lye. And lye is sodium hydroxide. It's used as a drain cleaner. All right, so I've got the sodium hydroxide. You want to be very careful not to spill it. And maybe I put my funnel on the floor. <laughs> okay, so now I'm adding the solid sodium hydroxide. And I'm going to cap this. Now the gas phase is carbon dioxide, as I said, and, and this is very warm. But we want to dissolve the sodium hydroxide solid so that it can make contact with the carbon dioxide, hydroxide ion plus the carbon dioxide yields bicarbonate. And as it's... Whoa. <laughs> As it uh, takes the gas phase away and converts it to a condensed phase, 
there's a partial vacuum up here and the atmosphere closes in on it. You can see it's collapsing. So we'll let it go for a while. So it's a nice way of demonstrating carbon sequestration. The carbon dioxide is disappearing. It's changing to bicarbonate. OH from the sodium hydroxide plus CO2 yields HCO3. Very, very dramatic demonstration of the carbon sequestration. An exothermic reaction. Most of the exothermicity is due to the dissolving of the solid sodium hydroxide in, in the water. After you make the car carbon dioxide by adding sodium bicarbonate to vinegar, you, you're left with a solution that is uh, an aqueous solution of sodium acetate. So I think that's kind of a, a nice little way of demonstrating that you can pull carbon dioxide out of the air with hydroxide. You can pull carbon dioxide out of the air using just sodium hydroxide. It's not a cheap way to get rid of carbon dioxide, but it's, it illustrates the, the process. Better ways will be developed to sequester carbon dioxide. This is probably not practical from an economic point of view. Look at the way this collapsed. Really very dramatic. So in my next video, I'm going to go through the chemistry of this process. First of all, the production of carbon dioxide by adding sodium carbonate or baking soda to vinegar. A very popular experiment with kids. And then adding sodium hydroxide to that to sequester the carbon dioxide and condense it into sodium bicarbonate aqueous. So we, 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 because the gas phase, the carbon dioxide is pulled out of the gas phase, we have a partial vacuum and it's demonstrated that it's a vacuum by the crushing of the can by an atmosphere. Pressure on the inside became less than the pressure on the outside and the atmosphere pushed the can, not the can, this is a spring water bottle. You could use a soda bottle, a liter soda bottle. It might be a little more dramatic, but uh, I decided to do it this way. Okay, uh, so I thank you for your attention and I hope you can use this and it will make you, your students understand some chemical reactions that are very interesting and what sort of carbon sequestration is. So again, thank you and I'll see you next time.